Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to try, I have this mold that I've had for a while. And I keep wanting to try it. So, I figured I would. So today I am using KS Liquid Cast. It is uh, the casting resin by KS Resin. It's got very few bubbles. It's very, very uh, thin. Very thin. Thin is the word. So, I was just thinking... just to do something a little simple. Now this lid, I haven't used this mold before, but this lid, I believe, you just gotta fill it up. So that's gonna take quite a bit of resin. So I'm going to be using Transparent tints for the lid. Um, Bahama Mama from Color Art. Caribbean Sea from Color Art. These are the powdered tints, but I have put them in alcohol and a little bit of hairspray as a binder. So I've made alcohol inks in them, which now from the alcohol ink from this stage. I can add to my resin to tint it. If you're just going to use the tints just for a little bit of resin and not as alcohol inks also, then you can just put a little bit of the tint into a container, add a little bit of alcohol, and then make it like a a watery alcohol ink and then pour it into your resin. This right here is called Tiger Eye. It is from the Diamond Galaxy. I thought I would use it for the lower part of the shell. Like I don't know how this is going to turn out. And of course I have my white which is, see there's virtually no bubbles in the white because I've let it sit. But yeah, they're they're rising quite quickly. So I don't think I will uh, need them. So I'm going to put some resin in each one of these for the different color blues. I don't know how much resin this mold is going to take. But as always, if I have extra, I have other molds around. <clears throat> so if you're putting the alcohol inks in a bottle like this, you want to give them a good shake before you mix them. This Bahama Mama is my favorite of all the tints. It's the perfect ocean blue color, especially mixed with the the Caribbean Sea. This is like the blue blue tint of the water and then the Caribbean Sea is like the greenish blue tint of the ocean.
See, it's very transparent. Set that there. This is the <clears throat> more green blue. The Bahama Mama is the blue. And then this is the green blue. These tints are very transparent and gorgeous. Perfect for beaches or ocean water that you want to keep transparent. Okay, I think I want I think I want a little bit of spark or a little bit of glitter in one. This is Heavenly by France Glitter and More. This is like my new obsession. You're looking for an opalescent glitter that does not dull in resin. That's your go-to. I'm not a glitter affiliate, so I don't have any codes for you, but I know she has a coupon on her website if you've never ordered from her before. See, you see the sparkle it does not dull. All right, <clears throat> so like I said, I've never poured in this mold before, so I don't know how this is going to go, but I feel like I should put some clear in it first. I don't know why. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just do it. So this mold, this is going to be up like that. So, I think I want to put, where'd it go? Oh, I think I want to put some of these shells in it. Just like, right here. Okay, come on. They're sticky. The shells aren't the mold. Just anything sticks to... Anything sticks to silicone. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of clear here.
All right. Can you tell I don't know what I'm doing? All right, I'm just gonna pour this up here. Just kind of trying to keep it it's all going to run together kind of but for right now until i get it all in i'm just gonna do that No, 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 no. Don't go. Don't go, don't go. Oh, this copper. I don't know how that's going to work. Push some of this <clears throat> copper down there. Just so that it's kind of beachy. Embrace the abstract, guys. We're going to need a lot more clear in this one. This is a lot of resin. Oops, that one's empty. Um, just adding some more clear into this. more blue <clears throat> hmm. 
more blue. So I really do like this casting resin. Um, not many casting resins cure to touch in like 24 hours. But this one does. I mean, of course, it takes like to full cure. I believe it's three days or something. Oh, that's a lot of resin in there. I think they could have figured something else out for this lid. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm being quiet, guys. I'm just thinking. Made way too much white. I always make too much white. When you're doing a beach, you don't need that much white. <laughs> you're just making just lines. Just pop a couple bubbles here and see what we got. that white around. Actually it blew it right off the damn mold. I am not level of course. Here's my little steer. 
little skewer. A little bit of clear left, might as well use it. Try to fill this thing up. I know you guys have heard me say this before with my beach stuff, actually with anything. If you have clear resin, you can create so much depth. I guess I'll leave these to cure. We'll see what they look like tomorrow. I actually should have put more shells in it. Took up a little bit more room. I should have put some big shells in it. I can't believe I made up just enough resin. I mean, I have some white and some copper left, but I made up 300 milliliters for this mold. So it better be a fantastic mold. You don't want to use your torch on molds because they'll end up sticking. Which I'm not a big fan of molds that have a lip that come over anyway because they mostly stick. And both of these have lips on them. So... Come on, bubble. So there isn't bubbles are pretty much gone. So there really isn't a close up that I can bring in on. Just because when you're doing molds, you're doing them. Um, kind of upside down and backwards but tomorrow I'll bring it in for the unmolding and uh, we will see uh, 
And then hopefully they cure okay. This is a really bad idea. Oh, wait. That's going to give you guys a better look, but I'm going to just dump that whole thing. So I'll see you on the unmolding. See you soon, guys. Okay, guys. It's unmolding day. <laughs> so, first of all, I'm working on a different beach piece other than these right now. But I haven't, I didn't tape it. I'm just, um, I'm just working on it on the side. So the last couple times, the last couple layers of that, I've had extra resin. So these are just some of the pieces that I have used leftover resin. This blue that I use is the Color Art Tint Bahama Mama. And the Caribbean sea tint from Color Art also. And they make beautiful ocean blues. So these are just a couple of the little things I've made with the leftovers from different beach pours. Some little water hearts. butterflies so on to this this is what you came for I just noticed that this is kind of still still kind of bendy so we will see we'll pull it out and let it cure the rest of the way on its own if we can without destroying it I've never used this mold, so these kind of tray molds, if you just put them inside out, makes it easier. And then pop it back. Okay. Yeah, it's still bendy, see? But it hasn't quite been 24 hours, so. that I like that now the massive lid that took a bunch of it's got a little lip on it oh, I got some bubbles right here underneath the lip ooh It's pretty. I'll give you a close up. You can really see all the depth in it too. Like you can see. Can you see? Shells are pretty. So you can see the wispy white lines in it. This is a really chunky lid. Can't see the bubbles from this side, so that's good, but there are, see, a couple of them. They got trapped right under the lip. That is the top. This is the bottom. Look at that tiger's eye. Ugh. So pretty. These tints are perfect ocean colors. The bottom's even gorgeous.
This is a cool old mold. Oh. This lid is so heavy though. It's a lot of resin. So it took like just under 300 milliliters of resin. So here's the whole mold. It's a pretty big chunky mold. Beautiful. Love it. So, uh, there you have it, guys. My little ocean mold. It's pretty. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and come join us on our Facebook page. Look at, I got a little heartbeat here. It's not focusing. Come join us on our Facebook page. Um, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa, and I run that with Tammy Anderson Art. And I will see you guys on the next video. See you later. Bye.